think it's the collaborative effort of putting our solo work with our our DK stuff. I think it was important for us to show our art in all facets. And to me, that's what makes it different than the other shows where we're always kind of doing what everyone expected us to do or putting in what the TV show made us. And this is different. This is who we are as artists. And so we picked things that we thought the fans would love. But we also picked things we loved and musically what would sonically go well with the Dumb Blonde records and my solo records so that it was just something cohesive. So what you saw was this interchangeable, um, cohesive flow. Yes. cohesiveness and I think that's what kind of what makes it different from the rest of the things that we've done because this really was a in and out kind of tour and I think no one expected it I didn't know what to expect when they saw the show and we didn't want it to be one person perform the next person and then decay we wanted people to see the experience all throughout and see how our sounds how yeah our sounds yeah. through each other yeah and also there was a maturity this time around rehearsals were fun they weren't a headache yeah. the creative ways we were able to continually push each other to advance like we went in first day in rehearsal and a few ad libs then the next day we were like oh I got you on this one and mm -hmm. threw in a few more by the time we finished nothing is as it is on the track yeah. really like we just really pushed ourselves to sing things in a different way make new choices and also just continuously like push our creative boundaries find where things could add in and come in that we hadn't done yet just there was a real flow this yeah. time there was no Obviously, everybody knows we've suffered from many downfalls in our past, from everything that women go through, from jealousies to insecurities to, um, you know, I'd never say it was hatred, but we got hurt by each other a lot. We were bruised by each other, and there's that distrust is, la distrust lays deep, and unless you really are like a strong woman or man and really do put in the work to, like really mending the wounds and making sure that you do the work to unite and establish sincerity and, and um, like a real trust. Like we wouldn't be able to have done this this time and it wouldn't have been so easy. I think even our environment as well. In the past we've been in environments that have yes. brought us together and this was our choice and this was something we have pursued. So our starting point was different. Those, those two, those two. So I was I up went, in Oregon, Aubrey's like, I met with Don. <laughs> I was like, I don't know how I'm gonna tell Shannon this, but um, I was going through uh, a lot of therapy from my last relationship. I was in a pretty gnarly relationship. I had so much pain because there was so much love I had for my ex, and I started thinking about the, the wounds that can be mended and just shot her a text. And we just went from there. We literally met up like a few, a day later. So yeah, was I was, quick. yeah, I was skeptical. I was she like, was skeptical. She's like, you come to my I, location. Yeah, well, because I just didn't want to oh, be in a situation exactly. where it was negative and I was in a place where like her, like, like Aubrey, just men have an interesting way of treating women when women are strong. And I've had some really bad situations and I, you know, like I didn't like always being pit against women and I felt like the reason why we were always fighting was because men were saying things that were untrue putting us against each other oh she's singing better than you they're stealing your stuff they're stealing your vocals they're coming and they're talking at you disrespectful they're talking about you we had a lot of third like, parties really that not, helped egg just, on yeah. our own insecurities and fears and I just wasn't and I just I didn't want to be put in a trap and I was in a situation where I felt like you know we Sometimes I was telling Aubrey, culturally, black women tend to look like the angry black woman when they choose to step up and do something. And at the last situation, I really felt like I was pegged as this angry girl when really we're all just fighting for our own voice. And so when she came to me, she was genuine and honest. And so we met and we spoke for like a hundred hours. Eight like hours. literally we sat down for eight hours and we just spoke about And then we, did, we weren't done talking. And so I was like, um, I'm going to get a ticket. Cause I was like two hours over on the meters. <laughs> LA don't play that game. So we, she got in my car and I was like, Oh my God, I need you to hear our new album. And I need you to great. hear dumb blonde. I need you to see this. I need you to see that. And we just got like went on and on. And literally maybe just a couple weeks later, Don hit me and was like, you know, we could tour together. Yeah. Cause and it was it love. Just, yeah. yeah. And we started, we started out there. Then I called Shannon and Shannon was like, oh God, girl. <laughs>
<laughs> not quite that, but I just I I'm you were I'm, skeptical. I'm, yeah, yes, of course. It was be. it wasn't anything to be taken lightly. Just it was a it was a big situation that had we had happened to all of us and absolutely. You and know, and Mama Shan. Yeah, you, know, you were thinking four about years it. Senior, I was like, okay, <laughs> but everything. I always do, Shan, and I'm like, Shan, listen, I'm gonna I'm gonna sit. She's like, Aubrey, not another album. I was like, we're just gonna do a couple songs. And like, honey, my marriage is on the line. I can't do another album. And then a week later, I'm like, don't worry about it. Just I just song. have 12 it's now. Like don't worry. So we're going to throw this out. No, there's 15 song in there. now, but you just have to oh, come yeah. in for one no day. No Record your parts. We're not doing any videos. five videos. And I'm like, three videos. That's In it. one day. And then I call then her and I'm like, don't worry. We're not going to tour. You won't have to be away from your hubby. And then I'm like, okay, Danity so Kane's going to reunite. Tour. I'm like... My husband's like, are we going to have a baby anytime soon? <laughs> and I'm like, we love Ron and we're thankful with how patient he is. Ron, we love you. We're, we're very thankful that you give yeah. us our, our lovely wife, my wife too, okay, bro? <laughs> she shares her. Don't you dare tell anyone. We were seven when it came out. But it's, it's really awesome. That means so. I think that shows the reality of a sisterhood. Like, I think people think women are just supposed to get along and everything's supposed. No. Oh, no. What girl group do you know? Even the best of them. We are sisters. None. We're going to fight. We are going to fight. And some things are not going to be the right way. And some things are. But at the end of it, the ones that survive are who are honest. I think we paint an honest picture. This is what it is. No, we don't get We are culturally different. We are in age is different with we born in different states different we're raised differently we weren't we didn't decide we were picked out of a show we were strangers so the fact that we still have this com that's worked and I think there's that our, our music our art everything always is sincere and it comes from that it may make our fans have ulcers for it yeah. and they may want to kill us our fans have really had to go they've lo they've had and to they kick sides right to they've had way. to go through a lot of shit. it's so funny we go through meet and greets and all the Dom fans are like Aubrey can you unblock me now and then all the and all the Aubrey fans, fans are like uh Dawn can you unblock me we're like what what what, what kind of shit were you talking you <laughs> we are who we are and we've never faked it you know and if and that's sincere like at least you know whatever we're coming through it's genuine it we are we are acting from genuine feelings and to me you worry about the person who doesn't resp respond when someone we love each other that much that we we we, we go through those fights re aggressively it's when you don't have feelings and you don't react to someone then you worry that maybe that maybe they don't really care and as we get older growth happens and we learn how to handle each other better so if someone makes like now we'll say oh that was a mess up. My bad on that. I didn't yeah. mean that. And we do we address it, immediately, it right away immediately, which is something that we didn't do before. But that's growth, and that's what we're trying to show that women can do this. You can have different perspectives, different angles, different understandings of things, and we may come out of the discussion and totally disagree. But that's okay. But that's we still okay. can get on the we, stage. We live in a society right now that needs everybody to feel the way they feel about something, especially with the politically charged time that we're in. And one thing I really respect and love about our group is that we can get through an entire communication session where we don't come out the other end having the same perspective of what occurred. And that's okay. We give each other room to have that. Everybody's got a different vantage point in life depending on their circumstances. And no two people should, if you're lucky, see things alike because how boring is a life where everybody sees things the same way but you just got to embrace the fact that other people can see things different and welcome Shannon's taught me a lot about patience and really truly like being able to connect with a different perspective than your own and feel it inside and not just agree with it verbally but take the time to allow it to affect your insides We're just feeling this out and we're seeing where it takes us. I think we enjoy each other. We love where each other's voices are right now. Everybody's at their best vocally. Um, so why not play with that idea? But we're not gonna like have a date and like, we just kind of ran with this tour and said, let's try it yeah. and it's working. And then I think in the past too, we've been on such tight deadlines. Every album we've had has had deadlines and we haven't been able to see the creativity to its fullest and like dig deep to really like what it could be. So again, dates aren't even being talked about. It's, a, it's an organic process. But we love each other. We love where we love where our art is right now and, and our solo projects. And I would love to see what we could do at our peak right now where we are as artists together. Yeah. 
guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more videos from your favorite artist. And while you're here, check out these other videos.